Hello, Saggy, Sagittarius's, however you want to say it. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and I am here to give you your week of August 23rd reading. That'll go into the next seven, eight, nine days, depending on where you are at in your chart, how much Sagittarius you have in your chart, what experiences you're going through, who you're connecting with, and of course, divine timing. But I can tell you through these cards what energies are available to you, what to watch out for, what to use in your path ahead of time to prevent yourself from getting into a situation with a snake or in the energies of a snake. We have a snake here twice for Sagittarius's for this week, so let's take a closer look. Now I'm pulling an overall card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild, and I'm just going to pull one card to represent the entire reading today, to represent the week of August 23rd, 2018 for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. So the card we have pulled for Sagittarius is Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, because this is general. We have number 64 to me. Six plus four is 10, one plus zero is one. Now is a time for a sensual awakening within you, okay? This is a private walk. This is a walk that may not so much involve other people, but the thoughts of other people so that you can awaken to something in the near future here. So let's take a closer look. With these energies and the energies of the Lenormand spreads that I do before the video in order to clarify the energies I am receiving, we do have a uh, path that someone's been on for a period of time. It's a very secure path. It's a path that may have involved children or a passionate connection. In the next uh, couple few days, we have a very passionate feminine energy who is content and who's doing well financially, who may be a little bit bored and mischievous, but I feel like uh, through this connection of playfulness and fun, you guys are actually being reborn in some way. There is um, a particular Sagittarius energy who is coming to the realization of some sort of playfulness, of some sort of situation involving children and uh, in the next three, four days from watching the video, I feel with the coffin and the snake here that something may come full circle when it comes to uh, dishonesty in some way, uh, maybe a very passionate con connection of sorts that uh, isn't the best for us, okay? Us, Saggies, I have Sag in my moon. All right, so in the next maybe four, five, six days, almost yeah, seven days, let's go around the seven, by the seventh, eighth day we've got uh, anxiety and trying to get to the truth of a situation re regarding something that came full circle it kind of just ended and it could be that you guys brought it full circle when it came to the thoughts you were carrying and now you're getting beyond some sort of anxiety and hopefully are praying to spirit for the right direction because the wrong direction is going to bring the Sagittarius into the arms of a snake who doesn't even have arms see He's so manipulative and tempting, you may think he has arms, right? Uh, but we have the sun here and travel here in one of my Lenormand spreads. And someone recognizing that they have the key to a long-term offer or opportunity when it comes to travel or moving. But it would involve a long and difficult path that one would have to walk. And there are manipulative energies when it comes to a karmic connection and changes that would have to be made. Interesting. So I'm going to read a little bit from the book to give clarity to the author, Alana Fairchild, and to clarify some of the messages we have already discussed. All right, so. Hmm, not much to this card. The Oracle brings you guidance that your sensual nature needs to play. And it doesn't require an external lover to do so, though that is one way, of course. It can be expressed through massage, creating art, spending time in nature, swimming, dancing mindfully, feeling the sun or air on your skin, drinking aromatic tea, or taking a salt bath. Play with what feels good for you and enjoy the indulgences. It brings you renewed energy. And apart from that, it's fun. I dare not touch my heart's desire that sings a melody so still and lights within a yearning fire a void that you alone can fill. To taste surrenders nectar sweet by piercing through the veil so thin and bathe in joy as tears release, a promised dance begins again. 
I almost feel like someone may be drifting from their partner a little bit, may have gotten into some unhealthy thoughts, and now they're realizing that, they're coming to clarity, they're getting beyond anxiety in some way. They're seeing someone for who they are and hopefully are allowing spirit to guide them into a much more fulfilling long-term path ahead. All right, so before the video Sagittarius is, I pulled a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed And you guys received number 37, which jumped out at me right away, representing number one, all about you, really taking the time with the Metal King energies to discipline you and your individual path. You have the energies of armor and boundaries for the next week. The Metal King is strong and arrives to lend you his impenetrable shield of protection. No matter who sends you criticism or jealousy, you will not be hurt. This ally also prompts you to think about setting healthy boundaries. When you do, no matter how comfortable that task may be, everyone will benefit. Another of the Metal King's messages is to remind you how important it is to have a healthy sense of self-esteem. It's a good time to shine and be proud of what you have accomplished up to this point in your life. Amen. Be mindful of codependency and enmeshment when the Metal King comes as your challenger. He's inviting you to address how overwhelmed you may be around other people. Do you pick up their feelings like a sponge? Do you feel the need to heal them so that you will feel better? This warns against forming unhealthy relationships in any area of your life. Okay, so somebody may just be recognizing that they came together with a person for one reason and now they're seeing the situation from a different perspective. And that's bringing clarity, which is good for the Sagittarius. All right, so I'm going to do a circle spread uh, with the Gilded Tarot deck. And I've already shuffled. The card that jumped out at me, knowing this was the right shuffle, is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the idea of manifesting bigger, better, and more in your life, knowing that you're in a solid foundation now and wherever you move towards next, whatever you create next, is going to put you in a very financially independent energy. Amen. See? Congratulations. Somebody is celebrating their independent uh, financial abundance. Maybe it's a feminine energy around a Sagittarius in some way. But I feel like Sagittarius is coming, like wishes are coming true when it comes to finances. Now, in your mental aspects position of the circle spread, Sagittarius, we have the Five of Swords. Winning the war but losing the battle. Being playful and fun, standing your ground, but really, what did you win? What did you conquer? What is it that's up in your thoughts that's frustrating you? Okay, so in your relationship to others, I'm feeling co-workers for sure. It's like something has gotten pretty darn old, right? There's cobwebs here in your relationship sector. Is something getting old? How do we take that and come up with newer, better, more creative ideas, even if it's in a relationship or a connection, so that we can get out of our head when it comes to harsh thoughts or messages, right? To ourselves. In your creative aspects position in the next three, four days, we've got worries, fears, and concerns when it comes to money, all right? We don't want to do this, Sagittarius. We want to hand our worries to spirit and say, please replace my worries of finances with new and creative and exciting goals and intentions. Because if you cling to finances, if you worry about finances, you actually darken your aura and cause yourself to repel finances from coming into your path. So it's a time of positive thinking, knowing that as you move forward into new directions and heal whatever's going on in your thoughts, you will be able to step into a financially and abundant path ahead. Or someone around you is doing very well. Good. So in your actions position, Sagittarius, you guys have the Ace of Cups. This is an opportunity to step into a new path that you can celebrate. What is it you are praying to spirit for with this beautiful new path? They will overflow it with love and abundance, prosperity, joy, happiness, contentment, fulfillment in every way. And emotionally, we have uh, a partnership here. We have communication. We have coming together. So if some of you have been worried about money. This is about coming together with another and manifesting success and celebration of a new beautiful path. This could be a new beautiful path when it comes to the same relationship, but something is renewed in your thoughts, or this is a beautiful path that you and someone else is moving towards and are celebrating. 
subconsciously you may be thinking about an older air sign libra aquarius or gemini sun moon or rising male or female but this is a masculine energy here subconsciously getting tired of a situation or circumstance may be tied to that air sign excitedly celebrating your success and or the success of someone around you now in your practical day-to-day -day matters position this week Sagittarius, you have the nine of, uh, the, I'm sorry, the seven of pentacles. This is one of my favorite cards. Um, it's a very spiritual time when it comes to finances, when it comes to looking at what feels like maybe making a challenging decision. This is about looking at how far you've come, giving yourself a pat on the back, knowing it's time to move forward and to take all of that knowledge, experience and finances and etc., towards a path that is much more fulfilling. But remember, as you take action, you cannot have this beautiful new path if you are not opening up in some way or if you're not, if you're continuing to worry about finances. Look, you're doing just fine day to day. Now, Sagittarius in your inner strengths position, should something fall apart beneath you, know that it is happening because it was meant to be. It could be that someone is stepping into a new financial path and they're nervous about something that causes confusion this time next week, maybe even next Friday or Saturday. But remember, we have the compass energies and the snake getting to the truth, spirit helping to guide you in the correct direction this week. All right, so for some of you Sagittariuses, you may be dealing with a younger 20-year-old or 30 to 30-year-old uh, air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. You may receive a harsh message when it comes to an old path, wanting a new path, wanting a new direction. Maybe you're the one hoping to have a new direction, to find a new direction. I feel like, gosh, there could be two children here. And you guys have been on a long path. One is uh, maybe a little bit sharp with their words at times, and the other one, their heart is open, but they don't show very much love. They have the Page of Cups. It's a small amount of love that they're willing to show. Okay, we have um, you guys, I think, excited about a new journey, getting playful, putting out your energy, hoping that your ship is going to come in. And with the card here, indeed, in the next couple few days, it very well may so if you're waiting for money to purchase a new opportunity a new direction a new job a new creative situation a new home what however this applies the money will come your way because the wheel is turning in your favor saggies amen and you are going to be able to celebrate a new home a new business situation a new circumstance whatever is happening in your path now in the next three four days from watching the video you have the uh, ability with the magician energies to get to the truth of a situation to get on the other side to face your fears and to get the clarity you seek when it comes to leaving a path behind that just going towards more happiness going towards more fulfillment making what may feel like a difficult decision when it comes to finances or an exciting path you want to step into maybe others are jealous of the path you are trying to manifest know that the high priestess is here to bless you when it comes to maybe something that some communication that you've always put in that you didn't receive a lot back from and now you've got this final sword. Do you want to continue to fight an old battle or do you want to get excited about something new and move into a new direction? Somebody may be walking away from someone who's in charge in order to step into a new path. Give it a shot, Saggies. I've been feeling this for a long time. You guys have the opportunity to accept a new path in finances and career. Amen. A creative project or hobby you will be healing and it's best to know that as you are communicating out to different people regarding finances it is that process of goal setting and and getting excited about new directions that helps for you to heal in some way yep climbing into a financially abundant circumstance situation now, in the outcome position, we did have the tower in your inner strengths. You have the ability to let something fall away that no longer is supposed to be in your path. If it is, I don't know, love, finances, uh, I don't know, 
Uh, what I do know when I look at this is you've been through a lot and you need to recognize that all that you've been through was meant to make you a stronger person. They're sending in the angel in the form of a deer here to help you to stand up and understand that now you have all that knowledge and experience as you step into a new direction. For some of you, not all of you, you are stepping or contemplating stepping into the direction of someone who's very passionate feminine energy that is passionate who may may have fire in their chart I can't talk Sagittarius or Leo there may also be a feminine energy who has air in her chart Libra Aquarius or Gemini it may be time to get to the truth of a situation to cut away from one path and to step victoriously towards what you want to open up your heart to get clear organized logical disciplined and focused Someone may come in quickly and unexpectedly, causing for you guys to think and be confused. But you're not trapped. Okay, we need to always remember that if a path is ending, it's ending for a reason. Amen? It's ending because it's supposed to. It's leading you towards bigger, better, and more. That's how life goes. If you look back, aren't you glad you weren't learning that lesson back then? Now you can learn bigger, better, and more because you know what you've learned. And you can now apply that to creating a more solid foundation in your path ahead, okay? All right, so let's bring in some spiritual guidance for Sagittarius, please, sun, moon, or rising, male or female, when it comes to the energies we've discussed for the next week of August 23rd, 2018. All right, so again, we have a feminine energy who is financially abundant, secure, independent. Um, there's a lot of fun and celebration around this person or around you as you choose to become more independent and financially successful because of the things you are creating in your life. There's a lot of self-confidence here. But in your thoughts, there are worries and fears. There's like this battle going on about stepping into a new direction. It's like... Fear is blocking you and that's it. So write down what your fears are, cross them off and replace them with exciting new goals and directions. Know that with the moon card energy, spirit uh, says the moon represents hope and without hope your path would be dark. So have hope. As you look at how far you've come, look at all the things you've accomplished. Rewrite your resume, your CV. List all the things you have done in your life. It's always a surprise when we write it down. When it comes to a relationship with a person, situation, or circumstance, the reminder energies are here to say, don't forget, you've been here and done this before. Don't forget what you're going through now, so you don't have to go through it again in some way in your relationship sector. Especially when it has to do with an older air sign or having to speak your truth. Okay, so in your creative aspects position, Sagittarius, don't cling to finances, don't worry about finances. Open your heart. Some of you Sagittariuses are in denial that you are a successful and confident person. If you have to, it sounds silly, but it does work. Look into a mirror and say, you are successful and confident and I love you very much. Say it to your own soul. I know it's crazy, but just try it a couple times. That's all it'll take and you won't be afraid to do it anymore. Um, in fact, you'll heal. So in your actions position, we have the Ace of Cups energies, which is spirit saying we are going to help you to step into a new, exciting, fulfilling path ahead. Take some time to think about your confidence, what you want. If you feel as though someone around you is being rigid or that you've been rigid to them in some way in the next uh, four or five days, it's a good time to pray to spirit for exactly what you want to see transpire I do have to say in your love life, but it could be in the, the financial path that you're walking, the business that you're connecting to. Emotionally, you are definitely connecting to and with someone that was intended to be in your path, but somehow you ended up with a blindfold on when it came to your boundaries. Okay, so it's time, Sagittarius, emotionally to take off the blindfold to speak your truth with others. This is what I want to be paid. This is the promise I was made. These are my goals and intentions for the future. Are you going to meet my goals and intentions or should I use my sword and move on? Okay, yes. Yeah. So in your inner strengths, I almost feel more than an air sign. I do feel like you guys are carrying the king of swords energies in the next week, week and a half to really just speak your truth. First to yourself, if you're not confident and know that you're confident and successful, you've just allowed for yourself to sit in a situation, a relationship to others where you're bored, where you've been there too long. So speak your truth about your boundaries, express your truth, and don't be afraid to walk away. Don't be afraid to, of course, 
educate yourself about other opportunities first. In your actions position day to day, your practical day to day matters. It's time to really write down how much you've accomplished, what you've done, who you've worked for, how far you've come, and not to be afraid to step into a more successfully, financially abundant future. Be honest with yourself. You don't have to cling to finances if you open your heart to opportunity. Amen? In your inner strengths position, something may crumble apart in some way because it may have not been built on a solid foundation. You may have been feeling like someone is keeping you out, but they're really focused on something they're excited about, something they're celebrating. And maybe you're starting to think, well, this isn't enough for me. You know, maybe you weren't ready for something to change in a circumstance or situation, but the choices angel is coming in in your inner strengths position and saying an opportunity is coming your way, especially with the compass energy. Spirit's going to say, here's an opportunity, here's a new offer, here's a new idea. Are you going to make a good choice or are you going to make a bad choice? Don't let anxiety block your path ahead. Amen. So in a three-card summary with the same Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron reed we have the High Priestess here helping for you guys to cut away from a path, people, places, circumstance, and environments that no longer serve you. You are not trapped. That's a figment of your imagination. The door on the back of the cage is wide open, and we have the freedom here on Earth to move in any direction we so choose. So Spirit's saying, come out of denial and listen to the energies of the High Priestess of Fire, who's going to guide you when it comes to something that you're passionate and excited about, a new direction a new goal, a new, intent, a new intention of sorts. Uh, you are exactly where you're supposed to be at this time, but some of you, not all of you, may be searching for something more in some way. We have love energies and the high priestess of earth. So I don't know if somebody is connecting to an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or I feel spirits saying, offer your heart to what makes you happy day to day, and the high priestess of earth is going to guide you when it comes to financial abundance and security take an oath to yourself that if something comes that is meant to be and you know it that you will take the risk when it comes to finances now in the next three four days we do have the high priestess of water helping you when it comes to your emotions helping you when it comes to passion and lust be careful of old cycles and patterns somebody's definitely being tested here by a snake no matter how badly you want to go into that doorway, when you recognize that you're anxious and confused in some way, know that you are supposed to walk past this doorway, that it's blocked by a cement wall in order to protect you when the forbidden energies come. Remain loyal to whatever path you are devoting yourself to at this time, Sagittarius, and know that it's okay to be playful, to have fun. You have the strength to let go of that which doesn't serve you, but be careful what you are summoning into your path in the future because someone's not going to have the same perspective of the connection as you do. In the end, see, recognizing that someone has been a little bit dishonest, someone has been um, untruthful in some way, and bringing to a situation to a conclusion. Maybe that's just a part of you you're letting go of and you're saying, I'm, I don't need to be in this path anymore. I'm going to face my fears. I'm going to move into a new direction. I'm going to pray to spirit for the right signs. And there you are, stepping beyond the stones of fear into the path of hope where there's success. So in the end, there is going to be a gift here of success, of long-term, of a long-term opportunity. Traveling, going through the process of getting to the truth and making changes when it comes to financial abundance and security. Open your heart to new opportunities. All right, so to close, I'm going to pull one card from the Oracle of Mermaids deck by Lucy Cavendish for Sagittarius's, please. Sun, moon, or rising. Male or female, closing card. Time out. That sounds like a good idea. With too much going on and too many snake energies around, it's a really good time to just take this time out in your own space, maybe by the water. We have number 36, which is nine, so something coming to a close. There's awareness, there's contemplation, there's time to sit in solitude and to think. How do I make these changes in my life? Yes, there is joy and delight and grace and play 
However, we are intensely social creatures, and at times we must be alone, or we are risking ourselves in seeing in our scene of ourselves only in relationship to others. Sometimes this is a need for validation for your love worthiness from others, checking in with others all the time, feeling bored, lonely, and unable to focus when alone. Being a people person is wonderful. Being unable to be alone is not a healthy means. There may be something you do not wish to look at within yourself. And are you seeking distractions at this time? There are unresolved pain and issues that you are fleeing from. One people activity to another, replacing people with people. When this card comes forth to be with you for a time, it is your time to consider what you truly think, feel, and believe, and know by having some time alone without humans, specifically, as you can never truly be alone. The experience of your life has already given you the deep wisdom that you need. We have a responsibility to each other, yet we must maintain our own sovereignty. You must clear and listen once again. You will have thoughts. You must be in nature. You must be reborn. You must have solitude, and you must contemplate at this time. Wow. All right, well. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you'd like me to pull your personal energies, you can contact me at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My prices are listed in the box below, and I'm offering a summer special for a 15-minute video reading for $25. Just provide me with your sun sign or your horoscope sign, and any specific concerns or questions by which you'd like me to meditate on during your video. Then I attach your video to your email, and you just click and watch. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.